Hi, this is Lee Jones, Life and Art. Today I'm having a voiceover because this is really and a, a very exciting uh, paint pour that I'm doing. I really had a good time while I was doing it and uh, experienced a lot of the um, joy increasing as I was doing this and creating uh, like a wave in the center and then finding um, actual jewels that looked like they were um, on stems. And so I found myself having a difficult time being able to speak while I was engaging in the process. So I decided that I would share the process by um, talking over um, and um, sharing how I was in the moment with this painting and give you a chance to have some time to just watch the pour. Okay, so this cup will end up going on my twinkle lights outside. This canvas is a 20 by 20 inch heavy gallery wrapped canvas and so I just realized I didn't spray underneath and it's um, really um, stretched so I'm spraying water and then I'm taking my hand and moving the water around and it'll tighten it up and it'll also remove some of the bubbles. So I'm taking this time now to um, focus, pay attention to what I'm doing right now with the paint. Uh, this purple is going around and it's as heavy as the paint pour. It's gonna be part of the paint pour. And then I'll put some blue that's a little bit thinner to go around to help it um, stretch the paint. And I realize that um, stretching the paint, tilting and stretching, trying to get the corners to go off without taking the composition off can actually bring about some uh, stress in the process of pouring. One of few things that are uh, that can be stressful in paint pouring and yet if I know that I can expect to have this I can also expect to uh, minimize the impact and engage with the paint allow it to do as it wants to do or as I'm directing it to do with the, the tilting and allowing it to stretch <clears throat> and hoping that this wave that I see um, is able to um, have some resemblance of a wave afterwards or even be better. There seems to be some gold wrapped around each of the little drops of paint so it looks a little bit like jewels. I'm, uh, more relaxed and um, excited at, if you can have those two feelings at the same time. I seem to be um, engaging right about now uh, with the paint more than um, I had when I first started uh, as I'm putting this um, black extender around the blue um, and this um, black is to help it uh, go off um, as much as I need it to. There's black on the canvas already um, that I had put on last night. And my feelings right now are all the senses, except for taste. I'm able to feel the paint. It's um, thicker than I'd anticipated. Uh, it's a heavy canvas wrap, so and it's almost two inches um, deep. And so I'm able to have some unexpected um, joy from moving the paint rather than using a, a palette knife or a spatula um, and um, it, 
I'm being able to watch how I'm making sure I do this as I glance at the composition slowly changing. So I'm seeing and hearing and feeling. I'm hearing the paint drip on the canvas, which is something that you're not able to hear, uh, unfortunately. I'm trying to use as many senses as I can. Um, I can smell the paint. Uh, Floetrol has a little smell, almost kind of like um, Elmer's glue. Um, and um, there's just um, the ability to um, feel the weight of the paint and the canvas um, as I move it. The weight shifts with the paint shifting. And so this is all being um, in the moment. I'm in the here and now rather than thinking of things from the past or thinking of the future, um, maybe just the future of how the paint will look in a few minutes. I'm really trying to stay with what's happening right now so I can benefit from that. And before I allow you just to watch the, the pour, um, I also want to just end with a nice deep breath. Breathing in and holding it, allowing the air to move all around my lungs, all the way to the bottom, and then slowly exhaling as much as I can. As I exhale as much as I can, the benefit of that is getting rid of toxins that are in our body, that, that's in our body. We do this process all the time, of course, as we breathe. Yet when we breathe slow, deep, and pay attention to how we're doing it, we get extra benefits from it. So by paint pouring, the extra benefit of paint pouring, and the breathing can really give us um, a sense of calmness, peacefulness. We can really be able to see the changes in the paint and be in touch with the paint process. Be engaged with the paint rather than wandering off in our thoughts. Redirect ourselves if we do back to what, what's happening on the canvas. So I'm going to just stop and um, allow you to do that and instead of listening to me you can um, be able to enjoy the little bit that's left and Please subscribe uh, if you enjoy this process. Um, it's a benefit to me if you subscribe. And um, I really enjoy doing this and hope to continue. Thank you so much. So as I finish stretching this, I'm wiping off the bottom of the canvas so it stops the process of dripping. And um, I'm very pleased with the outcome of this. I, it's just um, so incredible. I can't wait to show you with the close up. So my plan is at the end of showing you the results, I will layer the cup.
we're going to take um, a 16 ounce cup, as I usually do. Start off with a, just a little bit of white, and then go to our 24 karat gold by Decolard Americana. Do some pearl, not too much. Just a little dab of yellow. This yellow is by Artist Loft. Get some more white in there. And this is Artist Loft Blue with the um, charcoal in it. And just pour this whole thing in there. Uh, and I love this. This is um, Dioxazine Purple by, um, by Liquitex Basics. Then we're going to go ahead and just do some. Some dark blue that I can't pronounce, so I'm going to put it on the screen. Uh, then we're going to do some red. And this red has some charcoal from Deco Art Americana. And then we're going to put some copper, also from Deco Art Americana, but it's metallic. The charcoal is metallic as well. I think it looks nice with that red. charcoal to make colors darker. The till is um, it's here and this is by DecoArt Americana and it's texture so I put it down more. from Craftsmart. Now we're gonna go with some pearl, white pearl, and then some more dots. So some purple, and then there's just a little bit left of this um, amethyst. Oh my gosh, this whole time you haven't been in view. Well, we're still going to move forward. Um, in the center like we typically do and we want it to be about a third when it spreads out a third of the canvas top all right here we go 